On a dark night in the outskirts of a small town, a massive Walmart prepared for its grand opening. The imposing structure cast eerie shadows with its dimly lit spotlights, creating an unsettling presence in the otherwise tranquil community. The once peaceful town now felt an odd sense of disquiet as the colossal building loomed in the midnight air. Before the official opening, a new employee named Alex approached the back entrance of the store to begin his night shift. The door swung open as if welcoming him into an abyss of infinite darkness. A chilling coldness crept into his bones as he stepped inside, sending shivers down his spine. Inside, an unnerving silence hung thick in the air. Despite the store supposed to be bustling with the noise of last-minute preparations, only a faint whisper of a breeze echoed through the cavernous space. Alex felt as if he had entered a colossal tomb, where the murmurs of unseen shadows created an uncomfortable atmosphere. During his shift, Alex began experiencing peculiar events. Shelves seemed to whisper to him with indistinct rumbling sounds, and shadows in the aisles appeared to move incessantly. Yet, every time he turned to look, there was nothing there. He tried to dismiss his fear and drowned out the strange sounds with music through his headphones, but eerie noises persisted. As the clock struck midnight, the atmosphere grew even more unsettling. Lights flickered inexplicably, and shadows seemed to come alive, floating around Alex. He felt as though he were being watched by something unseen, something incomprehensible. At one point, Alex heard the faint cries of a baby coming from one of the aisles, approaching cautiously. He realized the sound emanated from a baby doll on one of the toy shelves. However, as he turned to leave the aisle, the cries echoed again, closer and more lifelike. Alex felt as though something was following him, though nothing was visible. When the wall clock displayed three of him, the ambience became increasingly ominous. Lights dimmed sporadically, and a massive, dark shadow moved swiftly down the back aisle. Alex tried to hide behind the shelves, but the shadow advanced relentlessly, almost as if it had a will of its own. The shadow transformed into a blurry human figure before vanishing completely. Uncontrollable fear gripped Alex. He sprinted towards the exit, only to find the door locked by some unseen force. The sound resembled a sinister, mocking laughter. Alex strained to open the door, but the more he tried, the more it resisted. In desperation, Alex screamed for help. However, his voice was swallowed by a terrifying silence. Instantaneously, the lights around him extinguished, plunging him into total darkness. Amidst the darkness, Alex felt something embracing him from behind. A cold breeze brushed against his neck, and he sensed something crawling around his body. In an instant, he was sucked into a horrifying black void. The following morning, as the sun rose, the Walmart store appeared normal. The exit doors were open, and the store atmosphere had returned to normal. Yet, there was no sign of Alex. He had vanished without a trace, as if he had never existed. Since that night, the tale of the haunting opening night of Walmart became a whispered legend among the townsfolk. Some claimed to still hear the cries of a baby during quiet nights, while others felt the presence of the unseen when strolling through the silent aisles. And so, Walmart became a place avoided by many, a store marked by the mystery and fear of its final opening night. In the heart of a small town, nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, stood a Walmart that was as imposing as it was enigmatic. The townsfolk spoke in hushed whispers about the eerie occurrences surrounding the megastore, especially during the witching hour when the world slept and shadows danced in the moonlight. One fateful night, a lone security guard named Emily prepared for her graveyard shift. The air was thick with anticipation, and a chill ran down her spine as she approached the sliding doors of Walmart. The automatic doors opened with a soft hiss, and Emily felt a shiver crawl up her spine as if the very building sensed her presence. As Emily patrolled the aisles, the overhead lights flickered intermittently, casting unsettling shadows that seemed to have a life of their own. Occasionally, she caught glimpses of figures darting out of sight, disappearing into the void between towering shell. Yet, every time she investigated, the aisles were empty. The haunting whispers began as Emily reached the electronics section. Faint murmurs echoed through the air, carrying words she couldn't quite comprehend. It was as if the very walls held secrets, whispering tales of long-forgotten mysteries. Determined to dismiss her growing unease, Emily continued her rounds. As the clock struck midnight, the store plunged into an unnatural silence. The usual hum of refrigerators and distant murmurs of employees preparing for the next day were replaced by an eerie stillness. The air itself felt heavy with an unspoken tension, and Emily could sense a presence that defied explanation. In the toy section, Emily's attention was drawn to a row of dolls, their vacant eyes seemingly following her every move. She dismissed it as a trick of the dim lighting, but an unsettling feeling lingered. As she turned to leave, a child's laughter echoed through the empty aisles, sending chills down her spine. The laughter seemed to be everywhere, yet nowhere at once. Determined to maintain her composure, Emily quickened her pace, the sound of her footsteps echoing eerily through the desolate store. Shadows seemed to struggle.
stretch and contort in the corners of her vision, taking on shapes that defied logic. A figure appeared briefly at the end of an aisle, only to vanish when Emily approached. As Emily reached the back storage area, a low, guttural growl reverberated through the air. She fumbled for her flashlight, the narrow beam revealing nothing but towering shelves stocked with merchandise. The growl persisted, growing louder and more menacing with each passing moment, echoing through the empty corridors like a spectral warning. Terrified but determined, Emily retraced her steps towards the exit. The automatic doors, however, remained sealed shut, resisting her attempts to open them. Panic set in as the oppressive darkness seemed to close in around her. Unseen hands seemed to clutch at her, pulling her towards the abyss that lurked beyond the doors. In a final desperate attempt, Emily let out a scream that seemed to pierce the void. The doors creaked open, and a rush of frigid air swept through the entrance. Emily stumbled out, gasping for breath, and as she glanced back, the interior of Walmart appeared unchanged, as if the harrowing ordeal had never occurred. From that night on, Emily was never the same. She spoke of the inexplicable events that unfolded within the confines of Walmart, but few believed her. The townsfolk continued to shop during the day, unaware of the malevolent presence that awoke with the setting sun. And so, the megastore stood as a silent sentinel, guarding its secrets in the dim glow of the moon, waiting for the next unsuspecting soul to cross its threshold into the realm of the unknown. In the quiet town of Ravenswood, there stood a Walmart that had long been a staple for the locals. However, whispers of strange occurrences began to circulate, particularly surrounding the late night shifts. For a town that prided itself on its tranquility, the unsettling stories were as unexpected as they were chilling. One summer evening, a college student named Lily took on a part-time job at Walmart to help cover her tuition. Eager to make some extra money, she volunteered for the night shift without giving much thought to the eerie tales whispered in the town's dimly lit corners. On her first night, Lily entered the megastore with a sense of determination. The harsh fluorescent lights flickered overhead, casting intermittent shadows that seemed to dance along with her every step. The usual hustle and bustle of the day time hours had given way to an unsettling stillness. As Lily made her way through the aisles, she noticed items out of place and shelves seemingly rearranged on their own. Dismissing it as the quirks of retail life, she pressed on, guided by the hum of the store's refrigerators and the soft buzzing of the flickering lights. In the electronics section, Lily's attention was drawn to a display of TVs that all suddenly turned on simultaneously. Static filled the screens, and the volume increased to an uncomfortable level. She hurriedly approached the displays, fumbling to turn them off. Just as she succeeded, a whisper echoed through the empty aisle, sending shivers down her spine. The voice was faint and indistinct, like a distant murmur carried by the wind. Unsettled but determined, Lily continued her rounds. As the clock struck midnight, a cold breeze swept through the store, extinguishing several lights in its wake. The temperature plummeted, and a feeling of dread settled over her. She quickened her pace, glancing nervously over her shoulder. In the toy section, Lily heard the faint laughter of a child. Assuming it to be a toy with a malfunction, she approached the sound. To her horror, the laughter seemed to move, echoing through the empty aisles. Dolls lined the shelves, their eyes seemingly following her every move. Lily shook off the growing unease, attributing it to exhaustion and a vivid imagination. The aisles seemed to stretch endlessly as Lily navigated through the maze of products. Soft footsteps echoed around her, and occasionally, she caught glimpses of fleeting shadows out of the corner of her eye. Each time she turned to investigate, there was nothing but the stillness of the night. As Lily reached the back storage area, she felt a sudden chill in the air. Boxes stacked haphazardly seemed to shift, and she could hear whispers growing louder around her. The words were unintelligible, yet carried an urgency that unsettled her. With her heart pounding, she decided to leave the storage area, only to find the exit door sealed shut. Panic set in as Lily pounded on the unyielding doors. The temperature continued to drop, and the whispers evolved into disembodied voices that seemed to echo through the vast space. Shadows coalesced into indistinct figures, and the air felt thick with an otherworldly presence. In a desperate bid for escape, Lily followed the emergency exit signs to a narrow corridor she had never noticed before. The corridor twisted and turned, seemingly defying the store's architectural layout. She felt a pull towards the unknown, as if an unseen force guided her steps. Eventually, Lily emerged into the familiar sight of the store, but something was off. The aisles seemed to stretch endlessly, and the products on the shelves were unfamiliar. She realized with a sinking feeling that she had entered a distorted version of the megastore, a surreal and nightmarish realm. As she navigated through the warped aisles, Lily encountered grotesque manifestations of familiar objects. Mannequins contorted into unnatural poses and distorted reflections stared back at her from shattered mirrors. Whispers intensified, forming a cacophony that reverberated through the nightmarish labyrinth. In the heart of this distorted reality, Lily encountered a figure in the distance. 
It was a shadowy silhouette that seemed to shift and warp with every step. The whispers coalesced into a chilling chant, and the figure beckoned her forward. Though fear gripped her, Lily felt an irresistible pull towards the mysterious entity. With each step, the air grew colder, and the surroundings blurred into a disorienting haze. The figure reached out, and Lily felt an icy touch on her shoulder. In that moment, the megastore seemed to implode, collapsing into itself like a house of cards. Lily awoke in the dim light of the early morning. She was lying on the floor near the entrance, disheveled and disoriented. The store appeared normal, as if nothing had happened. With a pounding heart, she stumbled out into the daylight. As weeks passed, Lily struggled to make sense of the harrowing experience. The town dismissed her story as a vivid dream, and the Walmart continued its operations as if untouched by the supernatural. Lily left Ravenswood, haunted by the memory of that fateful night. The townsfolk, however, continued to share stories of strange occurrences within the megastore's walls. Whispers persisted, and shadows danced in the corners of the aisles during the night. Walmart, it seemed, held secrets that transcended the boundaries of the known, and those who dared to enter its doors risked crossing into a realm where reality and nightmare intertwined. Subscribing to our channel not only keeps you updated with our latest content, but also shows your support for our work. Liking our videos, leaving thoughtful comments, and sharing them with your friends helps us grow and reach a wider audience. Your engagement means the world to us and fuels our passion to create even more exciting and informative content for you.